Hello everyone, this is ASM Marif today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial and today I'll show you the photo editing process. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first, go to the file and open up here the image I downloaded from the website and I'll give you that download link. And this one is non-edited image and I'll show you the creative way to edit this one. So at first make copy by pressing ctrl j let's analyze the photo here is some like spots in a face and i'll remove this one so here at first i'll go to the filter and photo toolbox and skin finder if you want to download and if you want to know more about the skin finder i have another video tutorial and you can watch that video and you can use that software so that check it out if you to get the link of that tutorial please check out my video description so here two things smoothing and skin tone here the smoothing i'll do smoothness or i'll increase the smoothness like uh, here yeah i'm zooming in yeah and then amount of smooth yeah and the fine how fine will be and the cost and other stops like this yeah and here the hue and saturation I have to I have to make it zoom okay at first here here yeah that's good and the contrast as well yeah and the shadow I'll make the shadow like that and the highlight like that so I want to make this one like a rough type face and here you're watching this one yeah that's fine and then hit the ok button so it will take time to load it up and give you the output but in this portion this one is not just smoothen so let's apply another plugins go to the filter again and the portraiture and here i'll use this one like more smooth than the previous so here the sharpness two options the fine and here is the detailing of smoothing and here is the all the things like uh, the how enhancement the soft i'll make it like soft and warm like this yeah that's fine brightness i'll make it a little bit darker yeah that's good and hit the ok button yeah the before one let's see the before one and after one now i'll do one thing in this photo after using the plugins sharpness gone that's why i'll bring back the sharpness so how to do that just mask this one and press ctrl or command i it will reverse mask and i'll just smooth these areas not all the areas so go to the brush tool and take a brush the, that is the first one brush and go to the opacity and the flow make like 50 or 55 percent yeah that's fine when this one is black make it white and then just brush on the skin not the edges like the eye brush or like uh, the edges so brush the skin only so here here so take time to like brush this one and it will be more precisely smooth so here as well so this portion okay make it bigger or smaller the brush size by pressing third bracket opening and closing so that's good and yeah this portion and this portion as well so work with the skin be very carefully so here so make it more smooth yeah only the skin not the edges otherwise all the sharpness will like remove like that so here as well so this one this portion yeah that's good and this portion as well so here 
and here also this portion and these areas as well so make it like the smooth all the areas so that's good yeah that's fine so it's nice the skin is smooth but not the sharpness gone so before one and after one press ctrl j for the copy and select these two things make it group and make it merge so after that press ctrl j and j two layers and shadow and highlighting i'll adjust so this layer will be the highlight and this layer will be the shadow and i'll turn off the shadow at first and select the highlight layers go to the blending mode and make it a screen right press and blending options from here here is the underlining layer and find out the highlighted area of the face yeah that's good press the alter button and hold it and divide the slider and adjust the light with the face that's good and then mask this one go to the image and apply image and hit ok yeah that's fine and turn on the shadow options go to the blending mode into multiply and blending options from here here is the underlining layer again i'll find out the shadow press the alter button and hold it and divide the slider and adjust the shadow with the face that's fine and if you need to adjust the lights and other stuffs you can adjust the previous one just double press over here the menu will appear again and you can adjust the lights and the other stuffs mask it again and image apply image in this case make it invert and hit ok now select these two layers make it group and mask this one and go to the image and apply image just uncheck the invert option and hit ok yeah that's fine yeah that's nice and now i'll take a new blank layer and now enhance the eye color so turn the brush size smaller by pressing third bracket opening and select the white color that's fine and select once here before that you have to increase the opacity and the flow and select once here select once here and go to the blending mode and make it overlay yeah that's nice so let's see the before one and after one yeah that's good and select all the layers make it group and make it merge now i'll go to the filter and camera filter this one is a plugin of the photoshop and if you are the user of the creative cloud version you are getting these plugins that means the camera filter by default otherwise we have to install it manually if you want to get the installation file uh, download link adobe download link adobe camera filter download link please check out my video description i'll give that link over there so from here i'll adjust the other colors and other stuff so at first i'll go to the camera calibration and i'll make the green color like this and this like yeah that's fine and i'll make the saturation like this and don't worry about that i'll give you that preset download link in my video description from the hsl panel i'll decrease the green color and increase the yellow color a little bit and luminance of yellow color and orange color and red color i'll make the luminance down and the saturation i'll make it up for the lips color is red that's why i'm just made it yeah that's good and go to the sharpness amount of sharpening i'll increase and luminance of noise reduction that's good yeah and then go to the curve tone or tone curve whatever you can tell the blue one i'll make the blue one like that yeah yeah i'll make it a little bit warmy and green one yeah that's good and the red yeah that's good yeah that's fine and then go to the basic options from here i'll decrease the highlight and increase the shadow a little bit yeah that's good and blacks a little bit down and from the effects i'll add some vignetting yeah that's fine i'll go to the settings and save the settings i'll save these things for you guys and this one is the green deep okay fine and hit the ok button yeah let's see the before one 
and after one yeah, use change of the photo and other stuffs so now again i'll use another filter that is the nick collection and color effects pro 4 this one is another plugins of the nick collection and you are getting lots of filters and lots of effects in this portion and if you want to get the download link please check out my video description from here i am using the cross processing and lots of methods over here i'll use one of them and i'll make it more amazing so i'll use this one this one is amazing so okay button it will take time to load it up and it depends on your pc configuration and before one was like that and after one you're getting like that so we are almost done and go to the adjustment layer again and go to the gradient map from here i'll use this gradient and change the gradient blue into aqua a little bit yeah that's fine the color code is 0a 3a 59 and hit the ok button and hit ok again and go to the adjustment layer and go to the blending mode and make it to soft light and make it a little bit down the fill color the opacity of the fill color will be like that so you can try another things like skin mode or other stuff but i would prefer to do like the soft light yeah let's see the before one non edited image in this photo you're getting the edited image and that is the posh color so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and if you want to get the download links of the stock image and plugins or other stuffs please check out my video description and until the next video i am asmr signing out today bye bye